Hey, so in this video I'm going to be taking a look at Star Citizen. This game is free to play for the next few days, or free to try. Um, just a little trial period where anyone can come and experience the game as it is for yourself. Um, of course this game is in development, so I'm sure it's going to get better over the next few years. I think this game has been in development for a few years already. It's one of the uh, most highly funded crowdfunding games. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I want to first want to say that I do have a pretty beastly rig, so um, I'm going to be playing at max settings, and even with max settings, the game is very poorly optimized in some areas. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a little like like tutorial or training simulation. Uh, so we're going to do drone sim, and then we're going to let it load. The loading times in this game are absolutely awful. It takes up to five minutes, sometimes even more, to load an area depending on what you're doing. So it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm just going to Alt Tab real quick, and then hopefully uh, there we go. Um, I'm just going to show you. If you go to um, Star Citizen's website, RobertSpaceIndustries.com, you can actually go up here in the top and then go to Funding, and you can see that this game has risen over 117 million dollars which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, if I go over to like Wikipedia and look at the, the most highly funded games of all time, it's currently in the number six spot, but the thing is, these other games have marketing costs associated with them. So if we just go by development costs alone, Sarzizen is actually ranked number four of all time for the most expensive game in development pretty much which is absolutely ridiculous and it's only going to go up higher so i feel like after like after a few more years this game may uh be more expensive than grand theft auto destiny and maybe even star wars the old republic depending on how long it takes to develop the game uh so let's go ahead and go back to star citizen let's see if it's loaded nope definitely not loaded so <laughs> i'm gonna pause the video here and just skip ahead all right, so we're back. So we've loaded the, the uh, simulation. I believe in this mission we're supposed to be killing drones, but I'm not entirely sure where the drones are or where I'm even supposed to go. Are these the drones? Oh, these are landing pads. Oops. So as you can see, I'm flying my little spaceship. I can actually change my camera view. The game does look very, very nice. I so will give it that. Probably one of the uh, most like visually like the best graphics I've seen out of a space game or at least in a long while um, you can have different camera angles see my little, my little pilot in there there's also a way hmm, I don't know all the controls quite yet I know there's a way you can turn your head without turning the uh, entire ship but I forgot what controls what control that was I guess it doesn't really matter. Weapon system. System. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> uh, I accidentally turned off my engine and then collided with something. I have no idea what that was. Stand by for reintegration. There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. I forgot how to do this. Never mind, I have no idea how to uh, change the uh, the viewpoint of my pilot. But yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty cool space sim. Um, I'm just flying around, I can shoot my lasers. I have two different types of lasers. And I think I'm supposed to be going and killing drones, but I have no idea where the drones are. For some reason, I'm getting some weird colors on my screen. And looks like the Earth, or whatever planet this is, is getting drilled from these, like, mining lasers. Kind of cool looking. I guess third person view would be better for uh, you guys watching. Just to see what's going on. I mean, it is fun to fly around and such. I'm gonna go into this laser and try to kill myself. Whoa! So, my wings just fell off. 
I think my engine's dead. Let's go ahead and look at a uh, first person view. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all my systems are destroyed and now I'm just floating away as uh, debris pretty much. We. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely looks really nice. I'll give it that. But let's go ahead and go to the main game. Exit to menu. Leave the level. Yes. So the main game is actually multiplayer. It's supposed to be like an MMO where multiple pilots come together and there's they're all they all can spawn their own ship and you can purchase larger scale ships and you go around collecting resources and fighting space battles and so forth in like a uh, persistent universe that's all multiplayer. Kind of like No Man's Sky. I mean, everyone's excited about No Man's Sky just because uh just because it's like a massive MMO and there's so many worlds to explore and such. So that's where they're getting people and that's why this game has had such a high amount of funding. Um, so again, this uh, loading screen is probably going to take about three to five minutes, so I'm just going to pause here. Okay, wow, that literally took like four minutes, maybe five. Wow. Okay, so where the heck are we? Why is it so dark? The whole space station is like dark for some reason. Okay, so here comes the lighting. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, I'm actually getting 23 FPS. I would change it, but if I change it to like medium settings or even low settings, I'm only going to be getting like 30 to 35 FPS, which is very strange. I'm not entirely sure why this is the case. It doesn't look like my system's being like pushed to the limit or not, but uh... Yeah, we're just going to go around and explore and just look around. I'm going to pause like every so often just because I know the video is going to look horrible at 24 FPS. Um, but again, I am running a GTX 1080, so I shouldn't be getting this low of FPS. I think the game is just very poorly optimized. Um, so yeah, let's go down and get a ship. And what I was trying to say before is if I change it to medium settings, 30 FPS is not going to be that much difference from what I'm getting right now, which is 27, 28, sometimes down to 25. Um, so there's no real reason to lower the settings, at least not for me. And I don't think my CPU is being maxed out, so I'm not really sure what the case is. Even when I'm not recording, it seems like my FPS is just extremely low for some reason. So here is like the sort of command center you can go here let's see open it up and I can spawn a plane I guess I'll I'll try to oh wait current balance 2750 okay my ship is being delivered it should show me an indicator somewhere oh wait I think it's oh it's over that way so there's a lot of landing pads on the space station, and you can pretty much... Holy crap, what's going on over there? What the hell? <laughs> so someone spawned a ship on top of mine, and I think someone... What is going on over there? Alright, so there's definitely some bugs happening, and it's getting so laggy, and here's some new spacesuits that you can buy. Whoa, it is getting extremely laggy out there. Something crazy is happening. Oh wait, let me get a spacesuit. I'm also not entirely sure how to close the chat box. Uh, just pulling that out. And you can also go third person, which is kind of cool. I actually like the third person view a little bit better than first person. Um, it might just be because I'm thinking of Mass Effect, and Mass Effect is a really good like third-person game. But I think the third-person view is actually really nice. So we're gonna go outside. Hopefully, the lag will stop. Yes, there we go. Where's my ship? Oh wait, first person. There we go. That's my ship. So we're probably gonna just fly out and maybe get away from the space station a little bit. The ships in this game definitely look really cool, and they're definitely like made to scale, um, so they really look massive. Let's open this. Um, how do I do this? Wait. 
Maybe I'm on the wrong side. I think this is my ship. I, I definitely did this last time. You're supposed to press, I think, F to open the ship. F, E. Maybe I can't use the ship. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Usually you go to the cockpit and open it up and then that lets you enter and fly it, but right now I'm kind of confused. Maybe I actually need to fly- oh wait, there we go. I had a use button. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard. Landing complete. It's kind of cool that it actually shows you getting into the uh, spaceship. And just visually, the game is so detailed. I just feel like there's a problem here because pe people, especially with my computer should not be getting 20 to 25 FPS. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Even on low settings, I'll get like 30 to 35. It's kind of ridiculous. All systems online. All right, go ahead and blast off. Go third person. This ship is pretty cool. It has like one engine instead of like two side engines. Holy crap, this, this plane is really fast. Slow down. There we go. This is actually a really fast plane. It looks like a jet. Whoa. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and steady here. Bogey. This will turn around. Whoa. I'm still getting very low frame rates. Let's try to leave this area and I'll show you some other cool things. really cool that you can actually see your pilot and you can see him moving around while he's in the ship. Um, I've seen from other videos that you can actually get Bogey huge frigate standing. shapes, frigate ships, and have multiple people board your craft and like work as a team. And I think that's the overall goal that people are hoping like later on in the game is that um, you are able to like command a ship with like five or ten other people and work together in order to like win a space battle or get resources and stuff like that. So there is a way to warp drive. I forgot the button, so just bear with me. There we go, select destination. We're gonna warp drive over there. I think I have to press F, there we go. Here we go, warp speed. Zoom. Okay. Uh oh, what was that? That was weird. It showed some sort of like space station, but then it disappeared. That was odd. Let's go uh, somewhere else. Landing mode engaged. Oops. Weapon mode engaged. There we go. I can shoot. Sweet. I think I only have one gun on this. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go this way. And there is missions you can complete. I haven't really figured that all out yet, and I don't really intend to. I'm just, just I'm just looking around and seeing what this game has to offer at its current state. I don't feel like investing too much time into it. As I said, or I think I said, I'm not a big fan of space games. I feel like they come out way too often, and there's way too many games that are like this. Maybe not as graphically enhanced as, um, as Star Citizen, but there's a lot of games that sort of have the same sort of appeal to it. This looks like an asteroid belt, kind of cool. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and warp one more time. Comma Ray 275, let's go there. Okay, there's a little space station over there. Or a comma ray, that's what it is. I think I'm going to try to just run straight into it at max speed and see what happens. And make sure I'm aligned. Okay, here we go. 
boom. And I somehow did not die from that. <laughs> I feel like Space Engineers has better uh, destruction physics or whatever. Let's do it again. I know you can just, you can die by running into things. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Whoa, there we go. Boom. I'm pretty sure you can get out of your ship and just like float around in space. Not really sure the controls for the jetpack quite yet. Uh, but when you die, you just respawn at the space station and you do it again. That's pretty much all you can really do currently in the game. There is a hangar where you can see... You got the situation handled. There's a hangar where you can see the ships that you have currently purchased through the Star Citizen store for real money. Um, and you can fly all the ships that you purchase, or at least most of them, the, one, the ones that are ready. But honestly, the game is just so poorly optimized. I'm not sure why people are giving this game so much money. Um, it is cool, of course, but there's just not a whole lot here. Um, for a game that's been in development for years now, I feel like there would be more, or at least some sort of like story mode to it, but currently it's just like a very primitive uh, like MMO experience where you are able to like fly around in spaceships with other people. Which is cool, I guess, and I mean, visually the game looks amazing, but I'm pretty sure they're going to turn down the visuals later on, just because, like, it's unplayable at 20 FPS, like, come on. There's a lot of cool ships out there. And it is cool that the uh, space station is actually moving. And I heard later on they're actually going to add, like, planet surfaces, so you can actually visit the planet surfaces, and it's, like, procedurally generated and such, but, uh, of course, we... We have no idea when that's going to come out, so, uh, yeah. It is kind of cool walking around, and if there were other players, um, you'd be able to see them and interact with them. Um, it is kind of a cool MMO. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to end this video here. Uh, there's no real point or reason to make this. I just thought it would be fun to try it out. Um... Again, I'm not really interested in Star Citizen. I'm certainly not willing to pay money for it. Uh, some people have already invested hundreds of dollars in the ships already, even though the game is in this state, which is kind of crazy. And uh, a lot of people seem to give this game such high praise, but as it stands currently, I don't think there's a whole lot of praise I can give it. Um, it does have potential, of course, but right now it's just a space game, and you fly around in ships, and you can shoot down other ships, and that's pretty much it. Um, but we'll see. Maybe years from now, this game will get optimized, and maybe it'll become something amazing. You never really know with early access games, but uh, typically speaking, they don't turn out too well. So for a game that's raised over $117 million currently, I feel like... This game is not going to live up to expectations and it's going to it's going to piss people off after a while. Like after maybe another year or two, people are going to start wondering like what's going on, what's happening. Oh yeah, and it's also a first person shooter. I forgot about this. I don't think I have access to like the shooting mission, but uh there's a bunch of guns you can get and you can actually shoot shoot people and shoot uh enemies and such. So it tries to be like everything in one, which is cool. It tries to be like the complete uh, like Star Trek experience, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to end this video here. I'm just rambling on. I don't think this game will live up to expectations for $117 million. It's pretty insane. And I'm surprised people are supporting all the microtransactions, to be honest. This game's microtransactions are ships. You buy different ships with real money. Some of these ships cost $40, some of them cost $30, so I think. Some of them cost like $100. I think some ships cost even $200, and I'm sure they're going to get more expensive than that later on, which is absolutely ridiculous. I guess people who play space games are just rich, like completely rich, and don't care about spending hundreds of dollars on a virtual ship. That is a really nice looking plant. They, they really did put a lot of effort into making like everything look super detailed and very nice looking. But uh, yeah, um, again, I'm just playing around. Um, I kind of want to do one more thing real quick. I just want to jump off the space station. Let's go ahead and put on a suit again. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Oh yeah, <laughs> something I didn't know to begin with is that you actually- Oh crap, did I not put on the suit? That's what I was gonna say. If you uh, don't have your suit on and you try to go out in the space, you will die. And that happened to me when I first started because I didn't know you were supposed to put on the suit. I thought I put on my suit. I'm not really sure what happened there, but oh well. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe this will give you a better idea of what to expect with Star Citizen, or at least how far it's developed so far. Um, of course, it can always get better. Hopefully it will, but I don't think it's gonna, like, it's not gonna be in its final, like, release date for a very long time, and even when it is, I'm not gonna get it just because paying, like, $40 plus for a ship is ridiculous, in my opinion, and people who pay more than that, I'm just like, where the heck do you get your money from? Um, there's a bunch of other space games on Steam. I feel like there's a space game every other week, like a good one that sells pretty well. Um, so yeah, I don't think this is like the be-all, end-all of space games. There are other games to experience, and I don't feel like you should be giving all your money up to this game just because it looks cool. I have to wait for the actual gameplay to come out and, and to actually see that it's fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.